What's up everyone? Welcome to your 26th PHP tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be testing a database and making sure it can connect to the internet. So, before we get started, one other thing if you've been following along, when whenever you added that colon right there, it was supposed to go in here. So make sure it goes in the quotation marks since it's not actually part of PHP code. It's actually just a string of text. So once you corrected that, and make sure you do it or else you're going to get an error. We can finally start testing our database. Now what we're going to do right here isn't actually part of the computer game we're making. It's just a way to test our database real quick to make sure um, everything gets updated. Now, if you don't know, our database right here, remember you filled in, I changed my email already, but we're going to be changing that again. This is what we're going to be updating. Now, I showed you one way to do it, but we're going to be updating it right from the browser. So, go ahead and follow along with me, and uh, I'm going to be going over some stuff that's kind of advanced, but this is just for testing. I'll explain it all later. First of all, I'll make a comment just it says test so we uh, don't actually forget that this is not actually part of the code and after our test is done we're just going to be deleting all this so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, what your comment says or anything like that go ahead and make, make a variable called query and what query is is pretty much an action but again you don't really have to learn anything in this tutorial I know that sounds kind of stupid. It's just a test. So after we do this, we're going to be deleting all, and then we get back to learning. But still, a very important part. The next thing we want to be typing in these quotation marks is actually my SQL code. And my SQL code is pretty much straightforward. Like there aren't any uh, key variables. You pretty much type what you want it to do with uh, some keywords. So let's write update game uh, let me just type this all and I'll tell you guys what it means later update game set email equal to hope this works and I spelled it wrong but still good where username equals bucky20 now what this means is alright what action do we want you to perform we want you to update the table game and remember it already knows what database we're taking about talking about update the table game alright how do you want us to update it we want you to set the email which is right now yay we want you to change that to hope this works where username equals bucky20 now why do you have to say where because if there are a bunch of users and they all had emails it wouldn't know what one to update so now we want to say update email where username equals bucky20 and it says alright anytime there's a username called bucky20 I'm gonna put the email equal to hope this works spelled wrong but that's alright the next variable we want to write is result and this pretty much means the result of our action Again, uh, you don't really have to remember that. I'm going to be going over it later. My SQL underscore query. And this means what action? The variable we just did. So again, if you don't understand that, it's fine. Just go right ahead and save it. Let me check real quick. Make sure I don't have any errors that I can see at least. Then go down to your host panel. Unlimited FTP. Connecting. Let me expand that real quick. Go down to where my file is located in my desktop. I call it a connection file. Drag it over to public HTML. Yes, I do want to overwrite it. Now, in order to run this script, we actually have to go to the website. So, where my files are located, yours is going to be different, but go to the new boston.com slash connection file dot php there it is right there and if it runs good then you shouldn't see anything on the screen at all if you have an error an error will pop up 
but since we didn't output any text on the screen we just want a blank message so now go to your database and as you see email is yay and we change that so we're gonna wanna go ahead and refresh it and as you see if everything worked out like it did your email is gonna change to hope this works now this is how you can change elements in your database directly from a connection file as you can see our email is now changed to hope this works and this is how when we're working with our game the user is going to be able to update their information by themselves so this was just a test it wasn't part of the game at all but do exactly as I did with your own information in it you can update your email to anything you want and if it works exactly like that it means your database is working perfectly and if you got any errors or anything like that just go ahead and send me the error message and send me your PHP code either to just uh, message me on YouTube and send it to me and I'll show you what you did wrong and I'll send it back to you and uh, once everything is good to go then uh, move on to my next tutorial so do exactly as I did test your database and make sure you can connect and I hope to see you next tutorial thanks